to my October 3rd video update. Uh, I've mentioned before that we're going to be taking a trip uh, later this fall, and uh, I, I always have that just-in-case problem when I'm packing for a trip for what, what camera gear I'm going to take with me. Because I really, you know, I'm, oh, I better take that lens just in case I need it. And this time, more than any other trip before, I want, I know I want to do more video recording, uh, specifically with my iPhone, so that won't be a big problem. So I'll take my little video uh, recording kit. I did a whole uh, episode on photography and technology tools back about six months ago, six or seven months ago, before we went on a trip before, and then I did a follow-up video to that. So uh, in, in preparation for doing this, in preparation for this trip, uh, and, and, you know, so I'm doing this way ahead of time so that uh, I can see if it works for me, you know. And I'm also a, an advocate of the, the two-bag system, transport bag and then a, a bag that I use when I'm at the location we're traveling to. So uh, take a look at that other video, and I go through a lot of the stuff. But what I thought I would do today is just uh, show you what I have in the bag that I've chosen to take with me. So I've decided to take my VanQuest Skitch 12 bag. It's a messenger bag. It's great because it's very configurable. I mean, it, uh, as far as making it bigger, bigger and smaller, it has an access from the top that you can get into. So if you put things right in the top, then you can get to it easily. And in, in, in place of the Tembus Cooper Slim 13, which I really love, but it's just not big enough for what I want to take with me on this trip. So as I, I went back and looked at the follow-up video of myself and got an idea of what did I take and then not, not use, and uh, I'll try to align what I packed for this upcoming trip in the same way. So let's take a look in here. Uh, the, the, this bag, uh, again, uh, it has that top access. It has a pocket here in the back, which is great for throwing in your passport and, and travel documents that you can get to very easily. And then this top piece, I can get my little red bag out, which is something I always take out in the plane because it has things I might need during the flight. And it has a pocket in the bottom. Uh, let me release these straps. It has a pocket in the bottom, which is kind of hard to figure out what to put in there, but I'm using this uh, hard drive case for my batteries. So I've put the batteries down there, and there's a raincoat for another bag I have, but it fits on this bag perfectly. And then on this one, it has these Molly straps, so you can add things. And so I've added this pouch on the one end, which is great for a water bottle or putting a lens in if I want to. It uh, rolls up very nicely. And on this side, I put the little pouch for my Cooper T Slim 13 with two batteries for my Olympus camera. So what I have in here, get this so it doesn't fall, is my Lollipod tripod. That's the only real tripod that I'm taking. It's not a big, heavy, substantial one, but it does the job. And I'm also going to take my handle pod. So that will serve as something to support my camera if I need to. And I'm taking this tactical medical bag, which I've turned into my video storytelling kit. I won't take everything out of here because I've got another video that shows you what I have in there. So that's all together. And I can just pull that out and use it. And then of course my little red bag with SD cards, earphones, both types for my iPhone 7 and for what I'll use in the plane, band-aids and things like that. I am taking my EM5 Mark II. It's a little bit smaller than the uh, EM1, although I am leaving the grip on it and I'm putting the 12 to 40 on it to transport it. And this is probably the lens I'll use the most. And usually lenses is where I get in trouble. So I've, I've really cut back on what I am taking. So the EM5, and then I'm taking the little flash that goes on the EM5, which by itself is not a bad little flash, but I'm taking it mainly because I, I typically always take this and then don't use it, this Nissan 40 uh, flash, but I am taking it because I might want to use it and uh, it doesn't take up that much space. And I've got filters, just uh, four filters, polarizer and uh, variable density filters and um, ND filters, just the ones that will fit on this lens and on, uh, on the 12 to 40, and then the one of the other lenses I'm taking. So I'm only taking a total of three lenses, the 12 to 40 Pro lens, which is great because it's waterproof, as is the camera, or water sealed. And then I'm taking the 35 to 100 f4 
uh, just to give me a little bit of reach because uh, 100 gets me actually to 235 millimeter terms. And then just for fun, I'm taking this 7.5 wide angle lens. I, I don't use that lens enough and it's another thing I need to practice with. So I'm taking that. I mean, this Domka bag is great for storing these and they're stacked together on two lens caps or back uh, caps that I've glued together. A neat trick I learned from somebody else. So that is there. And then I'm taking my Yi Action Action Camera in its little bag with a charging cable and a case for it. I'm not don't envision taking it underwater, but it's a waterproof case. And that, and then a strap for when I'm walking around. I've got some business cards, got a pair of sunglasses, got my four port anchor charger, and I'll take of course uh, converters for European plugs. And that, my friends is pretty much it and if, if you know me at all this is pretty revolutionary and I could really carry this bag around with me you know if we go out on date when we go out on day trips and so on but I what I prefer to do since it's so easy to press this into my checked luggage is to take the smaller low pro bag the Streamline 250 I think is the model because it allows me to carry what I would need in a day okay so that is really what I'm taking and uh you know, after we come back from this trip, then I'll let you know just what I used and what I didn't use. And what, did I overestimate again, or am I getting closer to what I need to have? But in any event, I hope this is somewhat of illustrative for you. And I thank you very much for checking in, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video update. Goodbye.